Oh, hey everyone. Welcome back. Me, Dad from the Woods here. Still at White Sands Campground. It is Wednesday the 14th. Yeah. Wednesday the 14th. And I'm just, uh, oops, wish I didn't know that. Okay. just making a coffee. Um, been working uh, on the computer, uh, enjoying the outside and the wind and the air and everything. It's such a different environment from where I live. Anyways, um, Obviously, I haven't gone out today, uh, so we know about the ATV, so nothing new up there. We just wait uh, for that phone to ring. But, as you know, of course, we got that all fixed up yesterday. But now it's time for the boat. We're about, like, I'm not far. I mean, I'm ready. The boat is ready. But now I've got to organize the tackle and everything, and I got this new box. So, uh, oh. As more people are leaving. <laughs> Driving with their phones stuffed in front of their face, eh? Fuck. Good luck with that. In a campground full of kids, you know? Well, it's supposed to be full of kids. Anyways, here's this gigantic fucking, sorry, this gigantic effing <laughs> uh, tackle box. So... This here won't change. This is my work tackle, although that might change, actually. I shouldn't say that. But anyways, if you look at what I got, that's my work tackle box. Like, this is where I carry, you know, all the stuff I need, little tools, my uh, my uh, boat license, all that kind of thing, right? And then I've got, you know, my regular box. This here is... my spinner box i guess jesus has that ever gotten yeah no this is what the hell is this is this my bass box okay no it's my spinners and uh top waters i guess um boy have i ever let that go anyways um kind of obvious eh um what i'm going to do is i'm going to spread these out here on the cement picnic table and i'm going to go through them all and start transferring all the lures that are still in decent shape um, into the new box because i believe if i'm not mistaken i can get everything you know, uh, uh, down to two boxes, this great big gigantic one and then the work box. And even the work box stuff might fit because um, this thing here is just, oh, hang on a minute. Try and film it while I'm walking with it in my hand. Um, put this down. Yeah, good trip and fucking break your new box. That'll be a real good thing. Because on top here, let's just see. Yeah, see, this is just one great big empty box there. So that there could be my new worktop part. And then this here, I'm betting with all these, I've got more than enough for all my lures. Hmm. So that's what I say. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, um, Get the old boxes over. We'll do the lures first before I consider doing the um, work box because you never know, I might end up needing the top, although I don't know what I'd put in there. Um, I got I got a, probably I got an empty, you know, one of the flat boxes that'll actually fit in there. Okay, I don't know if I can do this one handed because this is the box that's broken. This is what precipitated me buying a new uh, box. Spent $80 on it. I wish I hadn't, but at the same time, one of my biggest things has been like, you know, my tackle boxes, all this stuff has just degraded over the years, eh? And uh, it's just the way it is. So, had a good sleep last night. Uh, I, uh, I laid down and puffed one and I got the 
laptop and everything set up in a way that I could watch it from the bed, like the screen. And I went to my, uh, went to Discovery Plus channel to watch my, uh, uh, this deadliest catch thing that I've gotten completely addicted to. And so there's new episodes for this year. So I started watching those and, um, Got hungry at around 1.30 or so. Guess that was around the time. And uh, so I get up, go out to the pickup truck to, cause everything's in there to keep away from the bears. Cause you know, we had the bear episode here last year. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to need recycles is what I'm going to need here because this shouldn't go in the garbage. I'm going to have to figure something out here. Um, ah, I just spilled some milk. So yeah, bears. Um, so I went out and made, uh, you know, I got uh, my loaf of bread out. It's my peanut butter. And then I got, uh, you know, my, uh, my uh, actually I don't have my butter knife. I can't find it. I don't know where it got to. I looked everywhere, can't find it, but I actually checked the garbage bag. I wonder if it ended up in there accidentally. Um, but yeah, I, I uh, seems I seem to have lost my butter knife. I don't know why. Anyways, I've got these things I bought from uh, Independent Grocer. They're birch cutlery, so you can literally burn them in the campfire, or they're you know they're compostable. So in the garbage they'll. Do what they're supposed to do anyway um, so when I get up I go to do that <clears throat> I don't know if I showed you guys this already this is how I'm reheating my coffee so it's like microwave temperature got to keep a close eye on it though so like you know because I like my coffee like really hot so um, made some well beginnings of home fries because I'm going to make some bacon home fries eggs and toast like I used to make here at camp I used to make it every day when Norm was alive so I don't do it as much now like this morning I just had a couple slices of uh, uh, peanut butter toast because I, I don't eat anywhere near like I used to eat uh, especially since I've been on a Zempic like I you know like I had two corns of cob last night two corns of cob two cobs of corn last night and uh i was like full and i'm like Christ, i couldn't eat. and i was thinking about having a cheeseburger and i'm like there's no way that i'm having a cheeseburger with this um i probably should have only had the one cob and then a, the cheeseburger uh but normally i eat two cobs so hang on i'm going i'm going to use you guys as uh, something to pull my tackle box See up front, and I won't change this box. That's my ice fishing box there. <clears throat> so that's got like jigs and all that stuff in it. I bring it because, uh, you know, if things get really tough on the water with the trout trolling, jigging is your next option, really. So three boxes of that, and they're not full going into that I have an idea that's going to work and I think what I might do is I'm going to ask uh, Lisa if you know these boxes are empty okay they're dirty and nasty a little well not nasty well I guess they would be for old boxes but uh, maybe uh, you know keep donate them to kids or something or somebody that comes here and doesn't have a tackle box I don't know I'll ask her what she thinks about that somebody try and sell them for five bucks on the online I'm like <clears throat> See, it just comes up to a slight boil so it doesn't burn. I don't like the burnt coffee taste. And she's piping hot. And then I just uh, need to set you down. I'm going to get my pot a, a little uh, rinse while it's hot and it keeps it clean. Filled up the big five gallon jug. But one thing I uh, need at that spout is a um, short hose I don't know if they sell a hose like three feet long I don't want to buy a whole length of hose spend money like that for nothing so anyway 
Just gotta wipe up some milk here. Just spill a little bit of the evaporated milk on the, I was gonna say on the counter, but on the table. So now that is piping hot coffee. Well, anyway, that's been 10 minutes, so we'll stop it. I'm trying to keep them short. Um, so yeah, nothing else to report. Uh, oh yeah, I was talking about the fog. It's 1.30 in the morning, I come out with the fog. All right, I came out and I'm like, what the hell? Is it all smoky? Like I look over my camp, uh, my campfire, nothing. It was already out, like down, like to nothing. And I'm looking around and I'm like, I start to think, geez, I better text Lisa. I'm like this is 1.32 in the morning, so I wouldn't do it unless it was emergency. So uh, anyway, I started to think that. And then I suddenly realized, wait a minute, I'm not smelling smoke. It was fog, but it was so thick you could cut it with a knife. And I mean, like you hear those stories, this is true. You literally could cut it with a knife. But it wasn't a cold fog. It was kind of like a dryish feeling fog. I don't even know how to describe that to you guys. But anyways, <laughs> um Obviously, so then I went back, uh, went back to the tent, and uh, it, luckily for me, I fell. Well, I'll probably miss part. I'll have to go back and rewatch it. But I fell asleep watching an epi the second last episode for this season that's come out so far. They're coming out every week, eh? Um, but I'd fallen asleep during the episode. I fell asleep actually in the episode before where um, they're on the northwestern St. Hansen's truck. Oh, I gotta stop this. Sig Hansen's uh, boat and uh, his son-in-law and the cameraman, I guess. Well, not well. He was the camera. They fell off into the water. You don't see that that often on that show, and that's serious business in Bering's uh, the Bering Sea, eh? So, anyways, like I said, I better let this go. Uh, but I watched that, fell asleep, and well, here we are. So that's what I'm gonna work on is the tackle boxes and uh, see how it comes out and I'll film, uh, see how it worked out. Okay, everyone, I'll see you after. Thanks for coming as always. Please like, share, and subscribe. Be good to your fellow human and peace, long life.